up guys welcome back to the long dark we're closing in here at the tunnel oh, that doesn't look good at all and we're trying to figure out what happened and if you guys can see up here this is the tunnel it leads out of Milton and behind it or rather all around it is this massive mountain birds circling up there that's not not good it really isn't good we're doing pretty all right with food and water what happened here oh yeah examine the bus yeah that's that's why the birds up there are circling <laughs> there's a dead body here do you have anything on them on him nope what about this briefcase newspaper a prison transport manifest. So the following felons are slated for immediate transport to Black Rock Federal Penitentiary. Scheduled arrival Thursday, November XX 20 XX. So we got the different names here. Total roster 15 inmates, known medical conditions, none. Hmm. All right, well, we'll leave it because we don't really need it. What's that say? Perseverance? Turn to Grey Mother. Okay. So we're actually about, that's our uh, weight limit. I think we're doing all right in terms of uh, weight, but now it seems that we got to return back to Grey Mother. There was a wolf over here somewhere. You guys can see there's Orca gas station up there, so... Oh, I see a deer. Oh, yep, there's that wolf. So we want to make sure we avoid that. Hopefully we won't get seen when we go back this way. He didn't see us when we came back, when we came to the tunnel, but as far as going back, I don't know if he'll see us or not. And honestly, this weather right now is absolutely perfect for getting things done because there is no snow, nothing going on. So we can actually maybe explore a little bit before actually return to gray mother i did want to explore that post office that was up here to see what's inside of it so i think that's what we are going to do before we head back into gray mother and talk tell her what had happened or what we had discovered the post office should be around here somewhere Oh gosh, there's a wolf up there eating something. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like right up there. There's one right here somewhere. Oh, it's getting a little windy. Yeah, it's starting to get a little, little windy now. I'm gonna search this glove box. But yeah, I've been having the long dark itch for a little while now. It's been a couple of days since I last played it. I didn't release, I released the second episode not too long ago, so you guys have probably already seen that. Oh, look. Yeah, I'm glad I got in the car because this wolf is, would have been out on the road if we were still there. But I wanted to stay in here just for a minute. Uh, we're actually, from what it looks like, we're actually warming up, so I think I'm going to sit here for a minute. I didn't think we would actually warm up inside this car, but... Yeah, I've been having the long dark itch for a little couple days now. And I'm so glad to be back into this now. And discover more as to what has happened to this town. Oh, he's walking this way. Oh my gosh. Is there anything in this car we can use? So we're going to have to wait a minute before we can actually get out. Because we're going to be spotted immediately as soon as we do. <gasps> he sees us. He's walking this way. 
All right, you don't see me, bro. Come on. That is so crazy to be up this close and personal with us. These wolves. Look at them. Where are you going, little guy? Crazy. I hear more back behind us. This one's busy chowing down on something over there. So the moment he can get around that corner to where he can't hear us. Alright, yep. Yeah, right now is a good time to get out. Oh, he's right in front of that post office that I want to get in. Can we distract him? I think we're going to try to distract him, see if we can get in there without him noticing us. We also got to keep a watch out for that one that's behind us as well. He didn't seem too interested in that. He's too busy. I think we're going. I think we'll be all right. He's too busy chowing down on whatever that is. Let's just slowly try to get inside here. All right, good. We made it. Okay, cool. So this will give us a little bit of a break and a little bit of a chance to warm up while trying to figure out what all is in here. Oh, we got a bag. Some new wool socks. Okay, we'll take those. Medical plants and of great bear. Read text. A note from a f information about how to use plants to cure uh, whatever that is. I think we'll leave it for now. Don't exactly need it. Driving gloves. Don't need those. That wouldn't be useful for the code. Oh, here's a note. A scrap of paper found in the Milton Post Office. Read. Margaret, we have to stop accepting mail at Milton. We have no way of getting it back to the mainland, but we can't tell people that. Or they'll know we've been holding on to it all this time. Find some excuse. Whenever you can, encourage people to use email or drone if they can afford it. I'll keep my eyes open for the mail van, but I don't hold out high hopes. I imagine Jack probably drove it into a tree again, somewhere way back, way in the back 40. We're likely to never find it back. Damn, I should have stopped him from taking the truck while he was on the, the drink. I'll see what I can do to fix the situation. Hold tight. That's interesting. I wonder when this note was written. Nothing in the back. We'll leave it there. We don't exactly need it. You're forgetting we're in Canada. I mean, obviously, with how much snow is outside. But, town of Milton. Read. Ah, okay. So we got a lot of uh, history here. If you guys want to read that, you can pause the video. I see. Is there any other mail or anything else we can read or any uh, kind of other supplies? We'll take that. Stick. Looks like a picture of a deer. I think that's everything that's in here, right? It's kind of a little bit of a letdown. I figured there would be more in here. There's nothing in that. Oh, some soda. Almost missed that. Cardboard box. Mmm. It's only nine minutes. We'll take that. Anything else doesn't look like it, so I think what we're going to do is, oh, I think we're getting hungry. Let me eat something real quick. I'll eat some new pinnacle peaches. Oh, we just opened it. Now we're eating it. Okay. Alright, check our temperature, negative 3 Celsius. 
All right, before we head out here, I just wanted to tell you guys real quick, I had to change the, the units of measurement that, uh, I know, I know, I know, don't judge me, I'm a dirty American, uh, I know up in Canada you guys use the metric system, but I had to change it to imperial, so that way we can see things like Fahrenheit, miles, pounds, stuff like that, uh, in case you guys didn't know, but that's what we're going to be using is uh, Fahrenheit in order to tell the temperature and stuff like that, and... You know the distance between certain things and pounds and stuff like that but i'm gonna go ahead and crouch because i know this wolf's out here and i don't want to be detected immediately as i come out all right this is like dangerously close so i'm gonna go around the back post office is a little more disappointing than i thought uh, i don't think we can get out of right here might, might can might, we might can Hold on a second. Aha! You guys didn't know we can't, we cannot jump in this game. So like when you hit space, you know your radio menu shows up. I, I still want to be able to find something in some of these glove boxes, but like so far I found nothing. I'm still holding out to being able to find something at least. Empty. This will make our way over to Grey Mother because I don't really. Oh my! What happened here? Oh, okay. A small one-handed axe, good for splitting wood, can be used to hack meat in a pinch. All right, we'll take that. I didn't know that was here. You guys were probably screaming at me the whole time that I missed it. So, is there any other weapons we have? lantern so if you guys didn't know kind of makes sense now where all the blood came from see this blood trail it's this guy who was dragged back here or crawled back here at least i don't know if he was dragged dragged or crawled but blood came from the front door he was probably shot by miss gray mother that'd be my assumption oh are you done chowing down no that's another wolf okay all right, Grey Mother, I'm back. Is there anything you can tell me about this tunnel that we discovered? Is there anything else, anyway? Suit. I must be losing my mind. It smells like food cooking in here. It's been a while since Grey Mother had anyone to make meals for. Please, take some soup before you go. Oh, that is so sweet. Uh, thank you. That's really very kind. That is so sweet. Thank you. Did you find it? It was there, like you said. And your friend? No sign of her. The tunnel's blocked. Looks like maybe an avalanche. But I think she got through before that happened. If the tunnel is blocked, that's the end for Grey Mother. So the tunnel is the only way through the mountains? No. Not the only way through, but... my only way through. That's right, we did see the word perseverance on it in the bus. She was there at the tunnel, at the bus. I'm sure of it. You think she passed through the tunnel? I'm not sure, but she was there. She left me a sign, a word, perseverance. A word from the old days, why would she write that? She's telling me she won't give up. Or maybe reminding you not to. Why write such a long name, though? It has to mean something more. Why? Because you mean so much to her? Because she wrote it in blood. I seem to recall a town somewhere up north, far, what was it called? That's it. Perseverance Mills. 
old logging in Milltown used to be an important place. Now it's mostly dead, like Milton. Maybe she's pointing you there. Perseverance Mills. How do I get there? By car. Before the quakes, when the roads were clear. Looks like I'm on foot. That will be a long road. I'm starting to get pretty worried about my friend. There's only one thing left to be done. You need to put her to rest. Put her to... I'm not giving up yet. I remember something. A farmhouse on the other side of town. That night, the memories are confused, but somehow I remember the farmhouse. You'll find a key to a safety deposit box somewhere in there. Go to the bank and bring me the box that matches the key. Then you'll understand what happened to her. W wait. Farm? Bank? What's this have to do with my friend? They left her, didn't they? She needed help, and they let her go. This is how we make it right. I don't understand. In the bank. You'll find the answers. Now go! Okay. Something precious was stolen from Miss Grandmother. Find it and return it to her. Okay, so also there's some soup apparently for us. Somewhere, at least. Let me turn this on. Oh, we, we can light it like this. Oh, okay. I don't want to light that just yet. I don't want to waste it. But apparently there's some soup for us. Right? Where's the soup that you wanted to give us? Oh, it's right here. Homemade soup. Homemade soup. Warm and nutritious. 600 calories. Hot. Thank you, Miss Graymother. Deeply appreciate it. Because we're going to go ahead and eat that. Or drink that, at least. Mm. Food. Soup. Go ahead and drink that. Awesome. Okay. Oh, I did notice that we were... A bit overweight. Right? Yeah. We're a bit. Just a little bit. Anyway. Yeah, see, everything's in pounds now. So, should we drop some stuff? We're gonna have to. Because I'm overweight. So, benefit. Warming up. This keeps us warm for an hour. Okay, let me drop some stuff real quick, guys. Here, I dropped some stuff. It said I just healed a sprained ankle, too. I don't even know how I got a sprained ankle. It's our forecast. Weather warning. Heavy snow and record low temperatures expected. For all the handwriting below, she won't like it one bit, but we'll need it to check on her. Someone has to. Let's go ahead and go. While we still have the, the warming up benefit, we're going to try to find this farmhouse that Miss Grey Mother was talking about. Wow, that wolf is still chowing down. <laughs> so where's this uh, farmhouse? Oh, it's directly ahead. Uh, I know there was a wolf over here somewhere, so I'm going to kind of be careful. This is the, the bank, it seems, that we'll have to bring that key to. You know, I didn't even look over here in this direction before. I didn't even notice all of this being over here. I want to check this car right quick, real quick. See if there's anything in the glove box. I'm still holding out on finding something in the glove box at some point. But 
affliction sprain risk. You are exhausted or encumbered and a, a, at higher risk for a sprain when traveling sloped ground. Rest or drop some of your gear in order to eliminate the sprain risk. I'm still overweight. Dang. Okay. So we gotta drop something, and I'm not entirely sure what we need to be dropping. And then we can drop this. We need to hold on to the socks. We need at least some backup clothing. You know what I mean? We'll drop that. At least we're below. I'm gonna need to rest soon. Oh my. Brain risk. How are we overweight still? I have no idea. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and sleep up here in one of these cars before we head down to the farmhouse. So, I'll see you guys after a good night's rest. Alright, it's really late at night and I don't know if this was a really good idea or not. Because now, we've got to get out. we got to find a home to warm up in because our temperature is not doing so good. We can't go back to sleep. And I'm honestly really worried. This wolf will see us. Alright. Let's get out. We're going to have to find a home to go into. Wait. I'm so cold. I'm warming up again. You're so cold that, that you're warming up again? I mean, it's working. We're getting a little warmer now. So this I'll might be a good... Something soon. Might be a good spot for us. For a bed, at least. There he is. Okay. But before we go to sleep, we want I'm going to search around the house a little bit. Nothing in that. Alright. Anything at all in the bathroom? Doesn't look like it. We'll search a couple of these drawers and then it's light out for us. Lots out for us. Could end up being useful. Those are pretty good. I don't know if those are better than any of the ones we've currently got, but we'll see. That's 50, that's 52, that's 77. Alright, so... We'll drop those. And drop those. And then put on these other ones. Then have those as backups. This could work. Alright. I think, well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and extinguish this fire. Oh! Hope nobody needs this anymore. Running shoes. How's ours doing right now? Kenzie's boots. And those don't really. Yeah, those don't really do anything for us, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop them. I'm gonna go ahead and extinguish this fire, and then we're gonna take a little bit of a rest, and then, then head back out in the morning to the farm. And I'll see you guys then. It's morning now. It was an okay night's rest. Not too bad. Still a little cold. Not the comfiest bed ever though, at least. But we're a little thirsty. And I was kind of trying to hold off until morning before we drunk anything. So we'll go ahead and give, uh, give ourselves a little bit of a uh, reward for having a good night's rest. Drink another one of these as well. And I think we'll hold off on anything else. Actually, we'll have some sardines for the morning. As well as a good uh, good breakfast. 
go. I'll go ahead and move those. I think we should be good to go, right? This is really heavy, so I'm gonna drop this water. Cause I don't really don't know if we'll need it. We haven't needed it so far yet. Actually, I'll take these water bottles. Water that is safe to drink. Actually, you know what? We will hold on to them. Okay. I was initially going to drop them because I thought it was just nasty toilet water that we picked up earlier. Land fuel could be useful. We'll definitely take that. Banged up condensed milk. Wheat thickened milk in a can keeps forever. I do not want that. <laughs> it just sounds disgusting. We've about pretty much searched every other cabin cabinet in here. Cloth. Don't really need that. We already searched that. Okay. That's cool. Actually has an inventory now. Can we actually keep stuff in here? Yeah, I wonder how all that's going to work in survival mode. Like, can we pick a house kind of keep as a base? The weather's not too bad right now. But it is making us really cold extremely fast, so we're just going to have to book it. What is this? Oh, that's some of the stuff that I dropped. I was like, what in the world? Really chilly this morning as well. What's the current temperature? Wind chill, negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Air temperature is negative 4, negative 5 degrees, and dropping. So. At least it's a little chilly. But the weather still, I'll take it over a snowstorm. I'm hearing a ton of wolves. I see one over there. I'm hearing a ton of wolves all over the place. It was actually like sustainable weather at one point. I actually have a farm that's really crazy to think of because if you look at things now look at how much snow this place has taken on I mean look at that compared to the fence you can actually walk over the fence now with how much snow is on the ground there's a deer two deers actually you don't have a bow to take them down for food anyway but I think there is something inside from what it sounds like. There's a wolf. There's a wolf in there somewhere. I don't know how we're going to be able to do this. Let's run to the house real quick. We're going to warm up before we... Yeah, I see him. Look. Yeah, let's get inside the house so we can warm up. That's a bad sign. Oh, that is, that's probably not a good sign, yeah. Let's, let's, let's go inside anyway. It, it beats, then it's better to go inside here instead of being out there. That scarf wrapped around your arm. Where'd you get it? <laughs> You're never going to find her. <laughs> what did you do to my friend? We burned them all, you know, in the old school. It was so easy. We just shoved them in there and locked the door. <laughs> you monsters. It just happened. All the lights went out, damn bus lost control and crashed into the tunnel. Brought the roof down on us. Barely crawled out of there alive. Hell, some didn't. People all hanging around trying to get warm after the power went out. All huddled together, scared and freezing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I would like to have seen that. <laughs> but we sure warmed them up. <laughs> You're a bastard. That's about right. <laughs> we put them all in the old schoolhouse so we could keep an eye on them. And then something happened to the lights. The power. It was like 
Sparks everywhere, and then... fire. Your scarf lady found us while the school was burning. She tried to help get them out, but it was already too late. Smug already did them in. <clears throat> She fought like hell to try and get him out. She stuck a knife or a screwdriver, I'm not sure, into one of our guys. Cut me, too. And then ran out into the blizzard. <laughs> Where did you see her after that? You want to know about your lady? Help me first. Damn it, tell me where she is. We caught up, but she's a fiery one. <laughs> Still had the knife. Yeah. Got me real good, you can see. We tried to stop her, but she ended up on the bus. And somehow, she was small enough to crawl through the crushed part. She got away. Whatever good it's gonna do her. If you so much as her... Ah, oh, we barely clipped her wings. She wasn't hurt too bad. Not hurt too bad? All right, she was bleeding. <coughs> A bit. <coughs> no way out of here now. The roads are all blocked. You'll never find her. <laughs> you have no idea how stubborn I am. <laughs> I told you what I know. Are you gonna help me or what? Pull this knife out of me. It's stuck in deep, and I can't feel anything below my waist. I need it out. You go after the old lady in the house, too? As well as letting those people in the school burn to death? Hey. You think they put me on that bus for my good behavior? That's the bus to Black Rock. Black Rock? Yeah, you know. Black Rock Federal Pen. <laughs> Where they put the worst of the bad people. The bad people, bad people. People too bad for the mainland. <laughs> it's like an old penal colony or some damn thing. <sighs> you know there's no easy way for us to get back. Imagine how lucky you are. All those people in Milton, scared, dying, and you getting to live. Oh. Oh no, oh no. Full knife, push knife. You mean we actually get a choice in this? No! <laughs> oh my god! I don't know what to think about this. To be honest, here's my thought process so far. Here's my thought process. So, he's a really bad guy, right? I, I, I paused it because I don't know if it's going to make a choice for us if we leave it unpaused. But, this guy's a really bad guy. He's hurt Astrid. And he almost hurt Grey Mother. And he's he just overall a really bad person. But, like... If I push the knife into him, that makes me no better than him. If I pull the knife out, you know, it's kind of a moral thing. You know what I mean? No, fuck it. Fuck this guy. You hurt my friend. Maybe even killed her for all I know. You scared an old lady half to death. Stab him. Fuck and him. All those people die. A knife in the gut is the best it's ever going to get for you. No! Oh, you son of a...
Come on, Will. Don't feel bad for this. Yeah, Will, don't don't feel bad for this guy. Don't feel bad for killing him. Survival of the fittest, you know what I mean? I mean, if you pulled that knife out and that guy survived, he probably would have killed you too. Cash, cash, and there's a key here. Bundle of cash, pretty much worthless these days. Useful as tender. Bank deposit box key, number 15. Bank deposit box key belonging to the farmer. We'll open a deposit box in the bank vault. I'm guessing this is the key that we probably need. I'll take that as tender as well. Ooh, pry bar. Okay. We'll take that because we can open up trunks of the car. Yeah, I don't feel bad for this guy whatsoever. It's, it's a shame that we can't keep the knife. Like, honestly, if we pulled the knife out, the guy was probably going to die either way. In my personal opinion. I feel like he would have probably died no matter what. So, I don't really feel bad for him. He kind of put himself in that situation by being a, an asshole. Anywho. Let's just continue to look around, try to loot up. See if there's any other loot that I can take from this place before we head back out to the bank vault. I feel like we got enough newspaper already. Actually, you know what? How much newspaper do we got? It's, assuming this is fire starting. We've got three stacks of paper and three news, newsprint rolls. We can probably take more if we come across more. But I'm not going to stress over that. Got some paper. More stacks of paper. Oh, here's a note. Utility bill. Oh my god. Your account with Mainland Power Corp is now severely past due. Your account is in in arrears to the tune of... That's a weird sentence to say. Probably not for Canadians, but still. This is the final warning. We've got a $1,256 power bill. Or utility bill. If you guys want to read the rest of that, you know, you can pause the video. I'm not going to read this whole thing. Some water. Candy bar. Anything else that I can possibly take. Peaches. Dog food. I mean... I still eat this. Dried salty crackers will make, will make you thirsty. I probably don't want that. I don't think we'll take them. It's a lot of food, too. Accelerant. That's paper. Neighbor's note. Hey, Martin. We found Molly. Alice was so relieved. Thanks for helping us look. Looks like this time maybe a wolf went after her. They seem to be more and more since the quake closer to town. You are people to keep them in check, I guess. Molly's hurt, but I think that she'll make it. Watch out, because the wolves might come after your dog, too. Oh, Molly's a, a dog. Okay. I know how you feel about wildlife and that you shouldn't shoot a wolf even if you had to, but I hear they don't like loud noises. Roadside flares might do the trick. Stay safe and come visit us when you can. It's not good to spend too much time on your own. Gone. Okay, that's that's a good little tip in case we get into a bunch, you know. We can always use that roadside flare that we got. Start a fire. Alright, yeah, I'll go ahead and start a fire. I'd like for us to warm up at least. Use, we'll use cash. Matches wood matches. Here's the cardboard matches. Fire. So how you guys feeling about this series? Aw oh, man, it failed the attempt. Cook water. Alright. Try this again. Fire starting base chance, estimated fire duration, chance of success. We got a half chance to start the fire. 
accelerant, 90% chance. Lamp oil. I think we'll just go ahead and use the accelerant, because why not? Give us a 90% chance of starting this fire. What? That what? That didn't work? What? That didn't work? That sucks. Come on. Come on, we got this. Accelerant. Yes, there we go. Okay. Honestly, we should probably save that accelerant. Is it food? Should have saved the accelerant for when we actually really needed it. But. Might as well use it because if I don't go ahead and use it, I'm never going to use it. That's usually how I am with games. I just. Uh, there's another cooking pot. We don't really need it. That one's 89. What's ours? Seventy-seven. All right, we'll take it. That's how I am with games. I pick up like materials, say I'm gonna use it later, and then I never actually use it. Oh. Hope I can still eat this. Peanut butter. Okay. Sardines. Another cooking pot. Don't exactly need it. Anything else in here? Oh, storm lamp. That one's uh, in pretty bad shape, so we don't exactly need that one. Any other supplies that I need to know of? We could use this. New dress shirt. Like that. See if it's any better than my clothing here in just a second. Wool mittens. Oh, that's a good find right there. There's a fireplace right there, too. Oh, we can cook stuff? Okay. But what can we cook? What should we try cooking? Select cooking pot. And then... We make some... Oh, we can make some tea. Okay. We'll take... We'll make that. 10 minutes until ready. Oh, that's... Add fuel. We gotta add some fuel. Because it's gonna go back out here and just... It was gonna go back out. We'll break this down. No, it stopped. Okay, well, we'll take that. It's all right. It's cool. At least our temperature is still doing pretty good. Also, I kind of forgot there was a dead guy here. Right, let's eat something and head out. Then we'll head out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me check and see. So we got 66. So these wool mittens is lower in condition, but they got... Well, they're lower in windproof, better warmth, and waterproofness. We'll wear them anyway. And as far as shirts go, this one's better windproof, warmth, better condition. So we'll go ahead and wear that one and then pick the stats. This one. Protection, lower warmth. I think we'll prioritize warmth first. I think we're good. Table. Is there anything else that I need to know about? Uh, I think we're good. We can go ahead and head back out and go to the bank. So I think that's what we're going to go ahead and go do. Oh my god. Okay, let's go back in. I don't think we're going to head back out during this weather. There is no way. I must sleep a couple hours. I 
I slept a couple hours, but I don't think the weather's any better now. Yeah, it's still really bad. There is no way we can go out in this blizzard. We're just, we're stuck. We are stuck. We're stuck here. We're gonna have to try to make the most of it until this storm passes. It's gonna take me one hour, 200 calories to break this down. It's gonna take me 30 minutes. We'll break it down. I'll spend the 30 minutes breaking it down. Rose hips, that's not bad. I think we'll light the fire here. Oh, there's a better succession rate, but the estimated fire duration is eight minutes. We'll try that. See, we'll get it going, and then we'll put reclaimed wood in it. Make it last longer. Come on, you got this. That did it. We'll add some reclaimed wood in there. Now it has an hour. this and make some more herbal tea. But what are the benefits of herbal tea is what I want to know. A cup of herbal tea just other than satisfying our hunger. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Hold on, hold on. You know what? We'll go ahead and drink it. bad. So I got three minutes on that cough oil, that herbal tea. And I wonder if we can heat up the coffee. Cause the, it says the coffee's cold right now. minutes until ready. It's hot. And what about some water? Melt snow. Water that may make you ill. Oh, oops, sorry guys, I didn't mean to do that to you. And we want to place that back down. Then cook. Can we cook that? Oh, we can. We can cook some peaches. 41 minutes, 11 minutes. Might as well make the most of the fire while we can. Anything in there that doesn't look like it. You know, I'm really excited. So once we get the story mode done, I'm going to do the survival mode. And when we do the survival mode, I'm really excited for because we get to test our skills that we've learned so far in the survival mode from the story mode. So that's something I'm really looking forward to. That'll come Ooh. in handy. I'll definitely take that. I'm surprised I didn't see that. Something I missed. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll definitely test our skills in survival mode. 
once we get the story mode done. I don't know how much content this game has, but we're still at the very beginning, so we still got a long while before that happens. I don't want to eat that. 27 minutes, let's cook something else real quick before we go. Tin of coffee. Cook that. And we'll drink this one. So what is what exactly does that do for us? Fatigue reduced, warming up, improvised or improved rest. This will help you rest more deeply to recover more condition per hour of rest. Six hours, one hour, one hour. So once this is ready, we might make one more can of uh, peaches. Pick one more can of peaches. Actually, that might take a while. Oh, a ski jacket. Okay. I can use this. Anything in the trunk? Decent trail boots, cloth, things like that. I can't believe I missed some of that stuff. That's crazy. So we got that. We got 13 minutes left on that, so we'll pick that up. I think we're done. But that's crazy, man. We got. Okay. So we got the ski jacket on top of uh, our parka. About the boots, they're in better condition. We'll go ahead and wear those. They're in better condition and provide better stats for us. Seven minutes. It's not that far. It's probably not a good idea to go out during this weather. Can we try it? No, 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 no. There's no way. The temperature is 15, feels like 29. It's not bad, so we'll go ahead and head out. That's not too bad. Temperatures could be a whole lot worse, but we'll just keep going. I think it's because of our bonuses while we feel that way, so we're in good shape. Anything in the mailbox? No. we got to make our way over to the bank and get that deposit box and return it to Grey Mother. It's actually slowing down, the blizzard. We actually came out at a really good time. Yeah, we came out, a, out at a great time. It's, the blizzard kind of stopped. It's slowing down now. That's cool. Alright. Couldn't be too much further. You know, something I am... What is that? Oh, it's just part of the bridge. But something I am really curious about is the items that we drop. I wonder if they are still up here or if they disappeared. That is up there. That stamina sucks, though, that's for sure. Not like I'm overweight. I'm about to be max weight, though. They are. They are still up here. Okay. I wonder if they end up... They're wet, too, but... I wonder if they, they'll end up... Um... Disappearing at some point. Oh, here's the bank. Milton, Milton's Credit Union. There's that carcass. Yeah, I want to check that out since that wolf's not over there anymore. 